Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're taking a look at iOS 13.2 developer beta 1 as anticipated Apple released this software update today and it brings a quite a bit of improvements and changes to the software that I wanted to share with you guys as I usually like to do in these videos. Now one of the main focus of this software was the new deep fusion feature for the camera. However, I can't seem to find that feature or activate it as of yet in the camera's application for the new iPhone 11. I'm not sure if Apple is still holding back on this feature, if it isn't fully ready just yet, but it is a feature promised to be coming to iOS 13.2. We'll have to wait and see. Of course, I'll have my follow-up video once I dig through the software. If I find a way to activate this feature, I'll be sure to let you guys know on my follow-up video. Of course, you can subscribe to the channel right now for more follow-up on this software. Now, iOS 13.2 was approximately three and a half to four gigs of download. Now, right now, you can go to settings if you're a registered developer. You can go to general software update and you'll see 13.2 developer beta one populate on your device. Now, the latest build number is 17B5059G for iOS 13.2. That's gonna be beta one, of course. Now, I wanna share some of the minor changes first and also dig in through the software and show you some of the things I've come across so far with the latest update 13.2. Starting with the actual UI for the volume, in the control center. Now, as you see here on a previous beta, we see that in the volume indicator right here where the actual volume is, we have the iPhone and then we have the volume right there. On 13.2, I don't know if I like this change, we have the volume at the top, but we don't have any icon in the center of the actual volume HUD. However, when you actually connect an AirPlay device like a pair of AirPods, you see here that the AirPods actually show up on the menu without having to long press or haptic touch on the volume platter you can see that the airpods icon show if you have airpods connected you also have the home pod showing and this also translates over to the menus when you 3d touch or haptic touch it'll show the icon up at the top something different from ios 13.1 uh, or below so something minor there in the control center that i wanted to share with you guys now there's also minor changes here within the control center if we 3d touch let's say on the home application you see that the font is now dark so it's black font instead of white again i don't know if i like those changes but it is something that apple did change here with 13.2 in comparison to 13.1 you can barely see it so i'm pretty sure apple is going to revert that to its original state and this translates over to other menus so for example, if I go here to the screen capturing, you see here that in the menus, the descriptions have changed and also the menus and the letters at the top here are dark. I don't like that at all. I can't barely see the actual text. A new splash screen for the Apple TV icon. When you launch the new Apple TV app, you get that brand new splash screen on 13.2. At least for me, this has been the first time I've seen this one. When launching the Animojis and the Memojis, I have this really cool animation here that shows me all types of cool combinations and new settings that you can apply within your Animoji or your Memoji rather and you can change it up and it shows you how you can just kind of make all types of different uh, Memojis in the actual messages application as well so minor changes there as well one big change that i've seen so far and it's very promising is the actual airplay plus handoff feature is now a new option available on 13.2 now before this was called handoff if i'm not mistaken or airplay these two settings were uh, separate there it is 13.1 we have airdrop and handoff here on 13.2 we have airplay and handoff under one single section and this allows you to activate turn on or off the transfer to an HomePod, for example. So if you're listening to music, it would hand off the music when you get home directly to a HomePod. Now I activated the music on my iPhone and actually placed the iPhone on top of the HomePod, which I have sitting right here, but it wasn't working properly as of yet. Of course, this is beta one, so this software uh, will improve within the next couple of betas. And it says right here, when playing a media, bring the iPhone close to the top of the HomePod to you know sort of hand off the data and you can continue you know, listening at home. So if you're coming home, you're listening to music, Music with your headphones you get home you hold your iPhone to the top of the home pod it activates hands off the music over to home pod and you can continue to listen to the same music the same tracks without missing a beat so that's the whole purpose of this new feature and again it can be activated under the airplay and hand up options which is new 
on 13.2, but it isn't working as of yet. Now the handoff option for other devices such as applications, if you're composing an email on your Mac, you can continue on the iPhone. This option can also be activated directly within the AirPlay plus handoff option built in to iOS 13.2. Now on the top we have the option to always ask or never hand off this information or do it automatically. So a brand new feature is something I'm really looking forward to, but it isn't working properly as of yet. Now those are some of the minor changes so far. Looking forward to the Deep Fusion settings that is set to be releasing with iOS 13.2. Again guys, I can't get the setting to work here on this iPhone 11 Pro Max, but I'll be digging around the software. Of course, you can stay tuned for my follow-up video where I talk about additional features and changes within the software and anything else that I may come across in the next 24 to 48 hours. So be sure to subscribe for upcoming videos on iOS 13.2. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.